Hello Parramatta Ill fans, my name is Phil Sim and I am the One Ideal. I thought this week uh, I've got myself this shiny new webcam, so I'm going to have a bit of an experiment and do a video blog. And the topic I'm going to tackle is, should Jared Hayne play this week at 5'8 or fullback? Now if you follow my blogs on One Ideal, you would know that I've been a long time proponent of Jared as a 5'8. To me, he's got all the skills, he runs, he kicks, he passes. And it just makes sense to have a player that is that skillful with his, with the ball in his hands as much as possible. And we saw him move to that position and Parramatta came away with one of its most comfortable wins of the year. So it really did seem strange when Stephen Kearney decided to name him at fullback this week. And the consensus on the Parramatta, your blogs this week has been that Kearney is foxing and that Jared Hayne will start the game at 5 8 um, and Luke Burt will move to fullback. However, I'm going to drop a bit of a bombshell and suggest that no, it actually would be in Parramatta's best interest for Jared to start at fullback. Now, this may come as a bit of a surprise based on my previous uh, strong conviction about him being a 5 8 but stick with me and I'll explain my reasoning. So, the biggest problem with Jared as a fullback, particularly in this side that we have this year um, at Parramatta is that opposition teams have been able, effectively able to mark him out of the game. Whenever he brings the ball back, he always meets a very straight line of defence and opposition defences are all also very wary of the inside ball or him running off the playmaker's shoulder. So he really hasn't had any room to, to open up his um, running game and I don't think we've actually seen one traditional running fullback line break from Jared all year. Uh, that's been one of the reasons that, that I've wanted Jared to move to 6. The problem is when Jared does make that move to 5 8, similarly, particularly again in this team where we don't have that a strong alternative point of attack, Jared is going to be marked as a 5 8 the opposition defence is going to be up in his face, not only looking to cut out his running game, but also that of his his uh, his support players. Um, and he'll probably play mostly to the left-hand side, um, and that's where we can expect to see the opposition defences mark up. And I think it's really an underestimated factor of the NRL competition, how much of an effect it has when opposition coaches target you. And it's why we see the second year syndrome. It's why we see players who have exceptional years one year um, bounce back and, and not hit that same form the consecutive um, in the next year is because once you're targeted and opposition teams know what your special plays are and what your tells are, then it makes it much more difficult to broach the defense. So. My suggestion is that Par is that Jared Hayne actually plays both positions, not at the same time, but it probably makes sense for Jared to start the game at fullback. S Jared at fullback gives you a very effective first hit up. He very seldom gets dominated in in the tackle, which gets your your attack moving forward, which in the early parts of the game is very important because it tends to be a, a battle of um, possession and and territory. In the early parts of the game you also can run, you also probably want to run more structured attacks which might take better advantage of Jared's running game. Then as the game opens up and hopefully both teams are tiring, hopefully the Parramatta attack is getting on top, then it really presents the opposition to change up the attack, bring Jared in a six, Casey Maguire can potentially go to nine, giving you a little bit more creativity out of dummy half can also bring on Rennie Matua, which will give you another a, a better alternative point of attack that takes more of the pressure off Jared. And I don't think it r r needs to be um, absolutely um, timelined in that at the the twenty minute mark that you made this change, because I think w what. Jared being able to play one and six gives you is the ability to structure your, your attack around that based on how the game is flying. And I'd like to use Luke Burt as an example. So Birdie looks like an absolutely world beating fullback when Parramatta is playing well. When the forwards are going forward, when 
teams are under pressure to get their kicks away. He doesn't get dominated on that first tackle on his, his his support game, which is as good as anybody's in the competitions, really comes into play. But when Parramatta isn't going so well, then that's when Burst starts to struggle because he, he can get dominated on that first hit up. And once you take his his support game out, he's really not giving you the value that a bigger, stronger fullback might give you. Similarly, Jared Hayne will struggle a lot more playing six, again, if the Parramatta forwards are struggling and it's a, it's, it's a tight game. Um, because opposition defence is going to be up on him, cut down his thinking time, and that's when we've seen him uh, occasionally make the bad passes and, and take bad options. So by deciding based on how the game is flying, whether Parramatta's on top, whether we have a lead, whether we're chasing points, or whatever, whether Jared moves to six or one, at the same time, what you're doing is restricting the opposition's ability to structure their defence to counter Jared because they don't know whether to to try and follow his follow his uh, running game or to to stack his side in defence if he's playing six. Um, and I think that is going to could play a big part in really. Allow, um, really setting Jared free and allowing him to play to the best of his ability and take advantage of both his running game and his passing game. So, you know, that's my thoughts. Jared is a special player. Um, he is absolutely core cool of the Parramatta team. So I think it's worth thinking out of left field a little bit as to how we can get the best use out of Jared. So what do you think? Leave a message in the uh, leave a comment at the bottom of the blog here and um, otherwise I will see you later. Go the Eels, beat those puny Panthers and um, I'll catch you next week. Bye.